forecast. Certified most accurate by Weather8. Let's take a look at the time lapse video from Homewood Suites on the river. Very calm night. You notice the winds not blowing the trees around. And you notice the sun didn't really come out this morning. That's that haze from that Saharan air layer we've been talking about. Spent a lot of time outside the last couple of days. You may have noticed it's starting to increase, and right now it is nasty outside. Now, that haze will break away through the day. Sun's going to come out, grab the sunscreen, but the thing you're going to need more is the water bottle. We're already near that 80 degree mark in Beaufort, and Beaufort, you're not alone. Look at the swath of upper 70s up and down the coast, even inland. 77 at Reedsville, Blackshear, you're right there, almost at 80. We see a few pockets of some cooler temperatures like at Baxley in the low 70s, but most people are already feeling that heat. It was 79 in Savannah on the thermometer. Well, it is 81 with the feels like, and that feels like temperature, your big weather maker or the big weather talker the next couple of days. The other talker is going to be that Saharan air layer that you can see outside, giving us that hazy start to the day. And like I said, it'll break away through the afternoon, but it's going to be peaking right about now. Now this afternoon, more sunshine will come in. Go ahead, maybe take an allergy pill. This is not the time you want to be coughing outside in public. Take it from me. You don't want that. Now those clouds are out. Scattered shower chances are out there as well. And if you do have a scattered shower pop up, it could be a little noisy, not only with a lot of lightning coming in, but you might even hear a little bit of hail outside to go along with it and some heavier downpours and gusty winds. Now we're not expecting severe weather with this at all, but we will have those shower chances. The stronger storms hanging out well to our west here. It's just going to be those general thunderstorms, but they could produce, like I said, some of those elements that give you a little bit of a bumpy afternoon, but it's only at a 20% chance. Our major rain chances are coming in on that seven day forecast, but actually they're coming in late on that seven day forecast and good news, even though the there we're getting those major rain chances. There's a silver lining to those stormy clouds. We're getting back to average on the temperatures, which today average high temperature bumped up to 92. We see that late in the seven day forecast. In the meantime, it's going to be above average high temperatures with that heat index value being your big talker. Another big talker is the active hurricane season that we're expecting. And right now is a great time to remember that we have that WJCL hurricane essentials guide on our website. It is free in Ashley, boy, oh boy, does it have a lot of great information in there that could potentially save your life, your family's life, even your pet's life. We got plans on how to evacuate safely and find those evacuation routes to emergency phone numbers, 